I'm Shalini and I come from India. And before uh, doing MBA, I have done a bachelor's in information technology, so engineering, like most of the Indian. And after that, I have worked with Accenture. Then I did another master's again back in India. And after that, I worked as a strategy manager for one of the Indian companies. And then I decided to do MBA for more international exposure and to improve my business skills. And then I came to Germany and I went to HHL and um, I completed my MBA in, at least I completed the classes or the courses in December. And then I started working as senior consultant at um, in-house consulting of uh, Deutsche Telekom. Uh, I was looking for something in Europe in general. And in Europe, I picked like two or three countries where I wanted to go for MBA and then Germany was one of them for obvious reasons. And of course, there were some personal reasons to it as well, uh, which we may skip here. But uh, yeah, given my personal reasons and the market scenario and everything, so I felt the Germany was perfect fit um, for a career post MBA. So I was not only looking for a good MBA program, but also to have a very nice professional uh, experience, the work culture, everything. So Germany was quite a good um, fit. And then in Germany, I applied to HHL. And again, uh, with HHL, I have very long connection. So my, my husband has also studied at HHL. So, <laughs> so that was the personal reason for Germany. And yeah, so I went to HHL and we can talk about that in detail. Definitely, it was far better than what I expected. Um, so through him, at least I learned from his mistakes and I saw what he did well, what he did not do good. And uh, learning from his experience was um, uh, was like a good thing for me because I was able to plan my own MBA journey in a very personalized way. And um, also having seen his experience and then planning my own journey as per my needs and having this connection at HHL and knowing the inside stories uh, definitely helped me. And I said it, it was better than what I expected because um, when I was thinking about my MBA at HHL, I was, I mean, I had a distance from HHL, but when I was into the system, when I experienced it the first hand, it was way beyond amazing. So at HHL, uh, everyone talks about this HHL spirit, and I think I am a self-proclaimed um, ambassador for HHL spirit because I really believed in it, and and because I experienced it, how everyone at HHL, the professors, the staff, the administrative staff, the program team, dean, everyone really believed in it, and they were always ready to help the students. So. Having experienced this, I actually believe in it. And, um, and being an international student in a foreign country, a different city with different culture, having this um, comfort that people are always there to help me, being its emotional need or being its bureaucratic need, uh, it was quite helpful. And just having this sense of comfort was quite helpful. And uh, other than that, uh, I would say the professors there, they are just, wow, just amazing. Because you if you see their um, professional uh, career or, or their uh, background, they are quite diverse and they are expert in their own fields. And even though they are such big experts, they are very humble and approachable and as a student, I think that's um, quite important that the professors are always approachable. I can reach out to them for anything, for any kind of questions without this fear of um, being judged or without the fear that my answer, my questions wouldn't be answered. So that's quite important. And the last thing I would say was this scope of personal development and that through a very customized channel. So for example, this new Leipzig talent program, which we are going to talk about, 
So that's a very good platform to explore your own strength and weaknesses and then work on it. And there was also this option of doing this um, student consulting project, which again helped me in exploring my own interests, the professional interests and what kind of work I would like to do in Germany. So having this clarity while studying is quite important. And these were the highlights for me. I, I could talk about two professors, actually. It's difficult to pick one. So uh, first one is Bernard Schwetzler, um, with whom I'm also doing my master thesis. And he is the professor of uh, finance, uh, financial management. And um, through him, I really saw uh, that how the concepts, the very theoretical concepts could be very interesting. and. Um, it's very difficult or I think that there aren't many people who can explain these um, highly complicated financial concepts in a very smooth and student friendly way and in a fun way. So that's um, that was a good learning and definitely my interest area for the professional career is uh, strategy and finance. So definitely his learning helped me a lot. And other one is uh, Professor Andrea Shuchanek. So he was the uh, ethics professor at HHL. And um, he taught us that you don't have to sacrifice profit for ethics or you don't have to sacrifice ethics for profit. So these things can go hand in hand. And how as a future leaders, we can ensure to create a fair and more understanding world. So. I think I am going to follow his advice and let's see what can I do. So every year at HHL, um, the students are given this option to join this program for uh, their personal competences uh, development. And the purpose of this program is just your personal growth. It has nothing to do of job prospect. It has nothing to do of networking. And uh, and I would also advise the future participant of this course that um, go into this program with open mind and just with this whole purpose of improving your own self rather than networking with the coach to have a job. That's definitely not the purpose of this uh, program. And in this, this entire program is based on four pillars. So uh, establishing trust with your colleagues, with your coach, because without trust, you will not have this open communication and without, and without an open communication, you won't be able to discuss uh, with your coach your needs and you won't be able to create this personalized development plan. Then uh, the second one was the self-reflection because to understand your strength, your weakness, you always have to self-reflect and you also have to always see where have you reached on your development plan. So it's very integral part of this uh, program to always do the self-reflection. Then having this social mindfulness. So I, as I already mentioned, it's very core of HHL that you aren't only a business manager you are the leader and you have to be always mindful to not only just your team but all the colleagues the society and you know the larger goal and finally the entrepreneurial spirit so nothing at hhl is without entrepreneurship so that's another aspect and the entrepreneur the entrepreneur spirit is not just having this startup attitude but it's also about you know the problem solving uh, attitude so if you have a problem or you face a difficult situation you don't run away from it but you face it with courage and you try to find a solution out of it so that's the base of this program and my experience was quite good because definitely with my coach i was able to I mean, my coach always pushed me to get out of my comfort zone and always asked me quite difficult questions and difficult in sense of emotionally difficult because you really have to think hard and then try to find out the answer for those questions. And I realized that whatever weaknesses I have or whatever questions or troubles I have, I have the answers within me. 
I just have to look deeper and search for the solution. And the coach is not to give me answer. The coach is just to guide me in the direction of finding the answer. So that was the highlight for me. And I also saw that we always play with the strength. So this is your strength and to always focus on uh, finding something in line with your strength. But at the same time, working on the weaknesses are equally important because at times, uh, whatever positive you can create with your strength, there is a negative impact of the weakness. So if you can improve the weaknesses or turn it into a strength, that's a, that would be amazing. Personally, for me, Leipzig would always be super special because this was my first international city which I visited ever in my life. So, so always, you know, the first things are always special. So, yeah, so that's why Leipzig would always be special for me. And I could always say this to people that hey, you have to go to Leipzig once in your life because it's a very nice place and it's not too big, it's not too small but you can find every kind of vibe in, in that city. So you want a very relaxed and calm and, you know, nature uh, kind of relaxing weekend, you find it there. You want to go party, you, you want to have very this energetic time, you will find it there. Or you want something in between, you will find it there. So it's a city with all kind of culture and you can, I mean, <laughs> it's just uh, you have to go there once in your life regarding the students uh, it's a super international city and there are a lot of young uh, there's, there's this very young crowd because of the different universities and um, the uh, and definitely being closer to Berlin also helps and the Berlin Leipzig is all at the startup hub so if you have to um, how would I say this I mean, if you want to explore something or you want to have this idea of create, uh, building your own startup, I think this would be the perfect ecosystem. And going back to HHL, so you already mentioned about the Spin Lab, HHL Accelerator, and the HHL has this entire ecosystem, the entire support platform where you can start with your own idea. So from the ideation phase to final execution phase, you will find uh, support at all the steps. And uh, at, at HHL, they also run this different uh, program for young entrepreneur, for female in entrepreneur to, you know, to support them and to uh, whatever challenges they are facing to find, to try to find a common sustainable solution. Yeah, so definitely, I mean, at HHL from the very day one, you can reach out to the career services team and ask your question. If you are confused, you don't know you want to work in Germany, you want to go back to your home country, which uh, function you want to work for, which industry you want to work for. It doesn't matter if you are confused or you, if you don't have any answer because at Agile, um the career services and the other teams, I mean, you can reach out to anyone with your questions and people would help you or try to answer you uh, I mean at the best of their um, abilities and once you have the clarity like where you want to go or what you want to do you will you can you will get a very personalized support at HHL so for example I wanted to get into consulting post MBA and given that my German speaking skills are not very good so at HHL, I got this opportunity to see which are the possible companies where I can apply. How could I prepare to maximize my chances of conversion? So uh, this kind of help uh, was very useful. And um, post MBA working at uh, CSP, so which is the in-house consulting of Deutsche Telekom. So there I, I could really see the impact of MBA on my personality or on my thinking uh, process so whenever i see a problem how i used to approach a problem pre-mba and post-mba i could see the difference and at the same time you know the different concepts that you study in mba you may not use them directly but they always have 
I mean, they, they would always provide you a sort of framework where how to at, at least a platform to start the solution building phase. So that's quite great. I, I could definitely suggest uh, the future HHL aspirants to check uh, the student consulting project. And at, again, at HHL, the entire experience is very customized as per individual needs. And um, even the course structure you can build uh, in different phases and as per your own uh, requirements and your own timeline. And being an international candidate who doesn't have any work experience in Germany, the student consulting project provides a very nice, uh, how to say, it, a peek into the German work culture or German, uh, in general, the German work market because um, it's a quite a long six month project and you actually work with a real client on a real project and uh, you would see how this project management skills or the consulting skills could, could actually be used in real life and at the same time depending upon the project you are working on you will be using the concept which you are studying in classroom so for example I worked on a uh, financial feasibility study for the client and I was actually using the cash flow charts or the balance sheet making skills that I was learning in financial, financial management class. So it, it was a real life experience of the concepts which we're studying. So that's, I think, a very good experience and a very nice platform to explore your interest and I mean at times you may see that ah, okay I was thinking I'm interested in finance I did the student consulting project on a project related to finance but I realized it's not something for me so I can I can still have the opportunity to move in another direction so it's a way of experimenting with your own interest so that's a quite a good platform which Agile provides.